Hello. Hi, good evening, Kwa. Yes, good evening. Okay, can you open your camera? Yeah, I yes. open the camera. Okay, so how are you today, Kwa? Yeah, well, I'm fine. You're fine. Okay, so nice to hear that you are fine. So are you ready for our lesson today? Yes. Yeah, okay. Just for a while, let me share the presentation to you. Okay. Okay, I hope you can see the presentation, Kwa. Can you see it? Yes. Yeah, okay. So uh, last time, we were able to uh, have a discussion, right? What discussion about what do you need to do in a job interview and how could you introduce yourself to the interviewer, okay? Yeah. So again, um, one of these days, you will going to finish your, your, your studies, right? Yeah. And soon, you are going to look for a job, okay? So how are you going to do or what are you going to do in a certain job interview for you to be qualified for a certain position, okay? And of course, how you could be able to introduce yourself to the interviewer because these are very, very important things. Okay, because sometimes in a certain company, uh, usually the HR or the human resource uh, manager, okay, the one who interviewed you, something like they are looking for a person that could be able to be of good uh, help, okay, or it could be a big help to their company. Right? So that's why it's very important to know the tips on how you will going to be succeed in your interview. Okay, number one, can you please read that one, Kwa? Resist the company and your interviews. Yes. So first thing to do before applying a certain job, make sure that you should have to have also the so-called um you have to examine yourself first okay that is what am i trying to say okay first thing okay. to do examine okay examine your self so how are you going to examine yourself you have to look at yourself also right and yeah. then not just only yourself but you need also to suit your qualification. So one of the things that we can be able to examine ourselves would be suit, okay, um, qualification, right? So you need to consider your own qualification. So you know what's a qualification, Kwa? No. Okay, that means... Do you have this particular, are you a graduate, okay? Or have you finished your studies about this particular job, okay? So you should have to examine yourself that one before applying a certain company, right? Okay, try to examine first. Am I qualified? Um, am, I, uh, am I the right person to apply in this job? Because they're looking for a person who is a graduate of this particular uh, course. So if you are not qualified, so you may say that um, maybe I will not be able to, I will not be, be able to be hired in this particular job because they're, they are looking for this particular person. And maybe I am not qualified for the position. So do not apply if you think you are not qualified. Got it, Kwa? Okay, then after examining yourself, ah, I am qualified. Why? Because, 
Okay, I graduated. Okay, I graduated my degree. Okay, let's say in. Degree in what? Hmm? Let's yeah. say degree in, uh, in education maybe. That's why I am qualified to teach, right? Because I graduated my degree in education. So if they are looking for a particular person, let's say the one that you are going to apply is a teaching position. So when you examine yourself, ah, I am qualified. Why? Because I graduated with my degree in education. Okay? I have the diploma. Okay? I have I can be I can be able to teach because I'm a graduate of education. Or let's say I'm a graduate of uh, I'm an engineering graduate. So I can apply. I am qualified. Did you get it? Qua? Okay, mm -hmm. then after that one, research. Okay, you already examine yourself. You are qualified because you do have the certain qualification like a degree. You graduated in your particular degree. Okay, so that's why you are qualified. Next thing to do, research the company and your interviewers. Okay, so you have to Google that one. Let's say if you are applying in, in a particular company like, uh, let's say, Globe Company. Let's say, um, uh, what is what one? Aside from that, let's say, uh, what other company that you know? No. Let's say, uh, Globe uh, computer company like mention a computer company like mm. for example Apple right Apple company yeah so Apple. you have to research about Apple Apple what's an Apple company why because the interview sometimes they ask about if you knew the background of the company. Like, for example, example of an interview, Kwa. Yes. why you are applying for this job? That's, the, that's also a question huh? that you need to answer. Why you are applying for this job? And oh. yes, do you think you are qualified to apply in this position? That's also a question. Mm. Right? Yes. So those are hard questions. If you cannot answer them, if you don't research about the company. If you already research, it's easy for you to answer that. Right? Yes. And then you need to uh, also... Uh, research about the interviewers. Is the interviewer a girl or a boy? Is the interviewer a um, an old an old woman or an old man? Okay, so you have to know all of them, right? So that yeah. you can be able to prepare, right? Ah, the interviewer is an old woman. Okay, so therefore I have to be careful of what I am going to say. Because, of course, old, old persons, they have this particular old, uh, old ideas and knowledge. Right? Okay. So that's the reason. What about the second one? Can you please read that one? Practice your answer and common interview question. Yes. So not just only, uh, uh, I will not go into to study. You need, you need to do a practice. So practice your answers to common interview questions. Okay? Like the one that said, right? Why do you apply in this company? Mm. So if you don't know the answer, do you think you can be able to, can, do you think you can, you will be hired if you don't know the answer? 
I don't know the answer. Mm. So that means you're not tired because you don't know the answer. Right? What? So that yeah. means if you're going to go home, that oh the the HR will going to say, Oh, I'm sorry you are not qualified in this position. So so it's going to be sad, right? Because you are not qualified. Why? Because you were not able to answer the question. Okay, next, number three. So you need to practice. So whom who who will going to do that? Okay, maybe you can talk to someone. Okay, and then uh, someone will going to to act as an interviewer, and you will be the one to be interviewed, right? And you will going to practice, right? Okay. Yeah, yeah. What about number three? Quad. Can you please read that? Study the job description and note the quick skills, quality, and its person experience. Okay. Study the job description and note required skills, qualities, and experience. So what are the job descriptions? Okay, job descriptions would be like this. Okay, let's say for example, the company is looking for, okay, looking for one. Okay, looking for a uh, uh, has background has background in let's say for example in safety management mm. so this one is a this uh, is a uh, is a qualities right that they are looking for okay has a background in safety management okay can be able to work with minimal supervision, okay? And then we can also say that, okay, it's a graduate, okay, graduate of, let's say, let's say business management, right? Yes. Mm. So these are now the qualities, the qualification, that the management would like an applicant, okay, to apply. So has background in safety management, work with minimal supervision, graduate of business management, and, okay, aside, and there's a lot, okay? Yeah. And uh, <coughs> if you think you have that one, then you can try, right? And you need to study them because uh, questions in an interview also would come from in here. Okay, like for example, oh, um, I, I've, I've learned that you had a background in safety management. So would you kindly tell us about safety management uh, strategies that you did? Oh, so you need to study detail, the details about that one. Oh. Right? Okay. Next. Answer the question using the STAR method. Method. Okay. Met STAR method means? Method. Situation. 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 Task. Action. Resource. Result, okay? So that is S stands for situation, T stands for task, T stands for action, and R stands for result, okay? So you have to answer that question. Let's say, for example, if the question is, oh, you had a background in safety management, right? So how... You are going to apply that in our company. Mm, so that would be the question, right? So again, 
You have to use the star method situation first. So how are you going to say that one? Okay, yes. Um, during um, during uh, after graduation, I worked in uh, in a company wherein uh, I work in um, in uh, in a company. Okay, and uh, I um, I was I was a safety manage, ma manager on that particular company, and I've learned that uh, there are so many things that we should have to take that we should have to take note in doing safety management. Okay, and you were going to uh, you were going to say what are those that what are those tasks? Okay, that means what do you do as a safety manager? Okay, and then after that one, what action did you do and what would be the result? So you were going to inform also the interviewer that on 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 um during during my time, okay, or during the time that I worked for this company, I was able to create this one, blah, 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 blah. And what would be the result? And the management or the company has been or uh, was able to be satisfied okay for the result because the result turns out or the results turn out to be good okay and it it helps a lot to the company where i work so that is how you will going to use the what method is that qua you the star method. Star method. Okay, number five. <laughs> Who's a friend to practice answering questions? Yes, that's why I'm telling you, right? You need to practice your answer to a common interview questions. And in order for you to do that, you can you can ask a friend. Maybe you can ask a brother or a sister or a mother or a father to do that for you. Right? Number six. Uh, be prepared with a sample of work, your work. Yes. So be prepared with examples of your work as much as possible. You were going to bring proof, okay, that, ah, I can do this. I was able to do this one. I was able to, I was able to uh, build this one, right? So you are going to bring or prepare with examples of your work. And the number seven? Plan your interview actors. On attire. Night, attire. attire. Attire the night before. Yes. You know what's attire? You know what no. attire means? Okay. Attire means is the clothes that you are going to where okay during the interview as much as possible it should be a formal wear okay okay because you are applying for a job especially if you are applying for a managerial position if you're applying for a managerial manager um, manage management okay when it comes to management, managerial, managerial position, so you should have to wear for, formal wear or formal attire, okay? okay? Because you are applying. So you should have to present yourself using a formal wear because that would also reflect your personality. Okay, Kwa? Yeah. Next. Okay. Not prepare smart question for your interview. Yes, do not say a lot of things in your interview. Okay, whatever would be the questions, just answer the question directly. Okay, do not do not tell a story. Did you get it? What? Do not tell a story. Just yeah. answer directly the question as much as possible using the STAR method. Then number nine. Mm, brings couple of copies. Your, copies. Bring copies of bring your copies. 
resource resume resume a notebook and pen yes so what are you going to bring on the interview okay so what to bring first bring your resume you know what's a resume no okay i'm going to give you huh Kwa. Wow, you need to, you need to, you are now in the second year high school, right, Kwa? Yeah. Oh, so you need to understand this one, Kwa, okay? Yeah. Supposed to be your teacher already taught you about this one, how to do a resume, resume writing. It's very important, Kwa, okay, just for a moment, huh? Okay. Because... If you don't know how to do this, oh, so it's not going to be. So this is a sample of a resume. Okay, just for a moment. Okay, so when you apply for a job, what? You need to do have do you need to have this one? Okay, so this is what we call a resume. Okay, have you seen this one before? Not yet. Is this no. the first time that you have seen this one? No. You have seen this one before? Mm, I be, before. Yes. Uh, do you know yeah. what is this? No. Oh, so this is the first that. time. So this is the first time that you see this, right? Because when you apply, make sure that you have to bring your resume. So what are the what are the particular thing that you should have to put your on your resume? So you have to put, of course, your name and then what is your, 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 uh, what is one? Your aim, okay? What is okay. your aim in applying? You need to put also your skills. You need to put also your experiences, okay? You need to put specially contact information and you need to put your education. Okay, Kwa? Okay. okay. So that is an example of a re resume and this resume is very important in applying a job okay and of course in your resume you need to put your picture and that picture is very presentable do not put a picture that you don't have you don't have a shirt okay yeah you should have to be very presentable as much as possible you have to smile on your picture so yeah. that would be a good resume. Okay, Kwa? Okay, yeah. then, aside from the resume, you need to bring also a notebook. So why is it a notebook? Because you have to take down notes, right? Because there are things that the interviewer would like to say. So you have to take down notes, right? Especially, yeah. let's say, for example, if the interviewer would say, oh, okay, so you are qualified for, um, uh, you're qualified for the next round. So that means you are going to come back tomorrow for another final interview with the boss. Mm -hmm. So if that would be the case, so you need to write that down on your notebook. Okay, what are you going to write? The date. So when will be go back on? When it will be? When it will be? Let's say May 20. What time? So it's very important to take note. Qua. Yeah. Okay? okay. Okay. And of course, if you don't have a pen, how could you write? Don't ask a pen to the interviewer. 
Okay, remember that qua, huh? Let's say, for example, oh, I'm sorry, I forgot my pen. Can I borrow your pen? No, 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 please don't do that one. Always ready pen with you. Yes. Okay, because if you were going to do that one, that would be an X, a minus to your score. Why? Because it shows that you are this kind of person that that is not what? Yeah. That is not a particular, uh, what this one? It's not, um, you are, you are uh, you're not skillful. Okay? Why? Because even a pen you don't have. Okay? Okay. Okay, next, number 10. Uh, tie your answer back to your skill and accomplishment. Yes, so tie your answers back to your skills and accomplishments. So what does it mean? Mm. Answer, uh, uh, when, uh, answer the uh, ex, uh, what qualification and skill Mm -hmm. And accomplishments, okay? Using yeah. again the star method, right? What? Yes. So that would be it. Okay. So, do you have any questions with this? So, these are some tips on the qua, okay? For you to do when you are going to do a job interview. And what you are going to prepare, one is the resume. Listen. Okay, next. Now, let's try to listen, okay, or watch and listen and mark the sentences. True. True or false. Okay. Let's try to watch. Okay, just for a moment. For a while. Okay. What happened? I broke. Okay. Just for a moment, Kwa. Yes. Mm -hmm. Where is it? Wait, wait, wait. Oh, what happened? Okay, there you are. Okay, I hope you can see this one, Kwa. Can you see it? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Let's try to. Can you hear it? Yeah. Yeah. Rob. Jenny, hi. Sorry I'm a bit late. No problem. Really? Really. I got your message. Would you like a coffee or something? No, I'm fine, thanks. So, what did you want to talk about? You think London is the best city in the world and you don't want to go home. <laughs> Not exactly. We'd like you to come to New York. Me? To New York? I talked to Barbara about you. You know, Barbara, my boss, she loves your articles too. So would you like to come over to New York and work for us? Just for a month and write a column for New York 24 seven and maybe a daily blog? Wow, sounds great. What could I call it? An Englishman in New York? <laughs> Why not? Are you interested? Yes. Very. It's amazing. But I need to think about it. Of course. When do I need to decide? Before the end of the week. Okay. Great. Thank you. And now I really have to go. <laughs> okay. 
So okay. there you have it, Kwa. Yeah. <coughs> Let's try to go back. Okay, let's try to answer the question. Okay. Okay, can you please read question number one? Rob arrives late. Okay, Rob arrives late. True or false? It's true. It's true. Okay, second question. He has a coffee with Jenny. He has a coffee with Jenny. It's false. It's false. Okay, next number three. Jenny has good news for him. Okay, Jenny has a good news for him. Is true. Yes. The number four. The job offer is for a year. Mm, is it for a year? Is four. It's false. Okay. Why? Because it says okay. only at least for one month. Okay. Right. Next number five. Rob said. A writer in New York a good name for the column. So Rob thinks a writer in New York is a good name for a column? Yeah, it's true. Are you sure? Yeah. Do, do you think Rob thinks a writer in New York? Okay, let's try. Number six. Jo Rob need to need time to think. He needs. Okay, Rob needs time to think. Rob needs time to think. Okay, so what do you think? Mm, it's yes. it's true, right? <clears throat> okay, yes. now let's try to do the transcript now. Qua. Okay, oh. let's try to practice the conversation. So I will be doing Jenny and you are going to do Rob and then after that, let's exchange, okay? Yeah. Okay, Rob. Hi, Jenny. Sorry, I'm a bit late. No problem. Really? Really. Okay, can you say really? that? Really. Okay, do not say really, okay? It's yeah. really is different from really, okay? Can you yeah. say that again? Really. Really, okay? Really? So you are you are asking question. Yeah, really? Really. I got your message. Would you like a coffee or something? No. I'm fine, thanks. So, what did you do? Want to talk about? You think London's a best city in the world, and you don't want to go home? Not exactly. We'd like you to come to New York. Me, to New York? I talked to Barbara about you. You know Barbara, my boss. She loves your article too. So would you like to come over to New York and work for us just for a month and write a column for New York 24-7 and maybe a daily blog? Wow, so great. What could I call it an enlistment in New York? Okay, let's try to go back, huh? Yeah. Rob thinks a writer in New York is a good name for the column. Oh, it's false. So it's false, okay. And then, why not? Are you interested? Yes, very. It's amazing. But I need to think about it. Of course. When do you, when do I need to decide? Before the end of the week. Okay, great. Thank you. And now I really have to go. Okay, let's exchange now, Kwa. You will be with Jenny. Jenny, hi. Sorry, I'm a bit late. No problem. Really? Really. I got your message. Would you like a coffee or something? No, I'm fine, thanks. So what did you want to talk about? You think London is the best city in the world and you don't want to go home? No, exactly. Well, <laughs> you like to come to New York. Me? To New York? I talked to Papa about you. You know, Papra, my post. She loves your article too. So, would you like to come over to New York and for us? Just for a month and write a column for New York 24 7 and maybe a daily blog. Daily black. Mm. Daily black. Daily, daily black. 
Okay, she loves. She loves. Okay, wow, sounds great. What could I call it? An English man in New York? Why not? Are uh, you interested? Are you interested? Are you interested? Yes, very. It's amazing, but I need to think about it. Of course. When do I need to decide? Before the end of the week. Okay, great. Thank you. And now I really had to go. Okay. Would you kindly say this one? Sorry. Sorry. Bit late. Bit late. Really? 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 Okay. It's going to be different, huh? Yeah. Really? So asking question from the word really. So you have emotion in here because you have seen an exclamation point. Yeah. So therefore, you have to say really. So something like you are excited, right? Yeah. Okay. So this one is asking question really, really. Okay. Next. Yeah. Really, really. Yeah. Message. Messages. Okay. Um. The best city in the world. The best city in the world. Not exactly. Not exactly. Mm -hmm. Okay. She loves your articles too. She loves your article too. So would you like to come over to New York and work for us? So would you like to come to over New York, New York? and work, work for, us? for us? Okay. And then... Wow, sounds great. Wow, sounds great. Why not? Are you interested? Why not? Are you interested? Interested. Interested. Are you interested? Are you interested? Interest. Interest. Interested. Ted. Ted. Interested. Interested. That's right. I come again. Interested. Okay, again. Interested. 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 Interest. Interested. 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 Mm. So you have to do it uh, a little bit fast. Interest. Interest. Something like interest. <coughs> okay. Interest. No, okay. No. Interest. Just for a while. Huh? I have to write that down. Okay, just for a moment. So the pronunciation would be like this. Interest. Interest. Interested. Interest. Okay. Instead of interested, you have to say interested. Interested. Yes. That is, that's it. Okay. Yes. One more time. Can you say it? Interested. Okay. One more time. Interested. Yes. So instead of interested, interested. Interested. Okay, that will be good. One more time. Interested. One more time. Interested. Are you interested? Are you interested? Good. Okay. Yes, very. It's amazing. Yes, very. is amazing. Okay. What do I need to decide or when do I need to decide? When do I need to decide? Okay. Okay, great. Okay, great. I really have to go. I really have to go. Okay, very good, Kwa. Okay, now let's try to have a free talk. Imagine that you've received a job offer. Talk freely to your teacher. Like, for example, what is the job? How was the interview? What did they ask? Do you like the job? Uh, you cannot you cannot do this free talk activity because you weren't experienced how to apply a job, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. But you can, I can be able to do it for you. So you are going to do the interviewer and I am going to do the applicant. Oh, okay. Do, do you know how to do that? Yeah. Okay. Uh, what is the job about? Mm, okay. So you are going to ask me, okay? You are going to ask me about um, uh, the job, right? 
Okay, so do not do not ask what is the job about because you are the interviewer. Okay, so you are going to say that. Oh, uh, thank you for coming. Okay, thank you for coming, and um, uh, I would like you to uh, I would like you to read this particular job offer. Okay, if you would like to work with us, so you can be able to sign the job offer. Okay, so that okay. is what we mean. Okay, but never mind, Kwa. Maybe you cannot you cannot do that one, right? Now, since you are re you've received a job offer, right? That means you don't need to undergo and a maybe a um you you are going to undergo some 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 uh, what is one some interview but that is just only formality why because you already had a job offer so a job offer means they are offering you a job once you sign in the job offer you will be accepted so oh. that is what we call a job offer so let's say what is the job or let's say about teaching right so yeah. i will be teaching okay i will be teaching so that's the that's the job as a teacher okay then there was an interview a little bit interview because um that's that's normal okay and that particular interview would say oh um would you like would you like to work with us and why do you think would be you are going to work with us okay so something like that so that would be only the interview and when did they ask or what did they ask so what are what are the things that they ask right or okay you can you can say do you like the job right yeah mm, okay so that would be it okay now let's try to have this vocabulary so before we have to listen or before we have to check your answer we were going to listen first with this one. Okay. 5.39. 3. Bus. 1. Plane. 6. <laughs> Taxi. 5. Train. Two, coach. Four, tram. Mm -hmm. Okay. Where is, or oh, match the words and its picture. Where's the mm -hmm. bus? Uh, bus is number three. Okay, number three is the bus, yes. Yeah. Okay. Then... Where's, what number is the plane? Plane is number one. Okay. Taxi is what? Okay, number one is the plane. Yeah. Next. Taxi. Uh, number six. Number six. Next. Pan is number five. Call in number two and four in number what? Okay. Tram. The train. The train is number four. Number four. Is oh. it number four? Five. No. no it's the uh, number five. Number five. Okay, next. Where's the coach? Coach number two. And okay, that's number two. Tram is number four. And then tram is number four. Okay, uh, number two. And then the tram is number four. Okay, now look at this one. So these are all transportation, public transportation, right? So why do we call them public transportation? Public chance? No, I don't know. Hmm? What's mean? 
Do you know do you know what is public means? No. Oh, okay. Public means people, right? People riding in this one. So usually a a particular wait for a while. Where is it now? It's here. Okay, a public transportation is a kind of transport. A transportation is a kind of transport <coughs> used by people. Okay, that's why it's public, right? Because it is used not only by one people, but it is used by many people. people. That's why it's public transportation. Okay? These are vehicle transport, like the plane. Do you think the plane can just only be, um, just only, or only one person can ride in there? No. Of course not. So there would be a lot of people, right? What yeah. about when you say the, the coach can also ride only one? No. no okay. What about the bus? Do you think the bus can only be, uh, can only be, um, uh, we could just ride only one? No. What about the tram? What about the train? And what about the taxi? Right? So oh. all of these are public transportation. Right? Oh. What? Yeah. Okay. Number two, three, four, five, and six are called. What do we call them? Uh, the uh, what? Yes. Yes. Land transportation. Oh. Okay. So why is it land transportation? Because. Because it it's what? just only transporting on land. Okay. Oh. Now, what do we call also? What do we call this one? What kind of transportation is the is the airplane? In the uh, sky transportation. Sky transportation. Yes. Mm -hmm. Is that sky transportation? Are you sure? Yes. Or think. Think of it, think, think about that one quad, okay? Now let me see, huh? Okay. Mm, do you have an answer now? No. Okay, actually, those who are Flying are called air transportation. Okay, so air transportation. We don't say it's a it's a sky transportation. Okay, it's an air air transportation. Why is it air? Because Why? They, it's, they, they, you are you are traveling on air, right? Because above above us would be there would be an air, right? And yeah. not just only that one. It uses the uh, air, okay, in order to fly, right? Why? Because there is something like that, right? The airplane has this particular air, a big particular propeller that can be able to fly. Right, yeah. why? so that's okay. why it's called an air transportation. So land transportation, all the transportation that okay, that transport on land, and if it is um, if it is uh, above, so that would be air transportation. Okay, next, fill in the blanks using the given words. Okay. Uh, fine. Can you please the, read? Can you please read this one first? Okay. okay. Yeah. Uh, you guess one at rank. They are also called a cup. People usually give the right 
uh, tip some extra money about five to ten percent in London they are black. They are black. Black. So what do we call this? What? Uh, what do we call this transportation? Yes. So that is taxi. taxi. Okay. Okay. Next. Okay. Next one. Okay. What? Oh. What? Okay. Uh, you get one at an airport. First, you have to check in. Then you go through security. Through security. Through. Through security to the Capacoon. Departure lounge. Departure lounge. Finally, you go to your gate. Gate. Okay. okay. So what is this? Plan. It's a? Plan. Plane. Plan. Okay, it's a plane, okay? Okay, next, number three. You get one at a station. You normally need to get a ticket first. Then you need to find the right platform. Mm -hmm. Some go unround in big cities. In London, this year, call it the the tube. 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 Okay, so what do we call that? Is tram. Okay, so that will be tram. Tram, right? Tram. Is that is that correct? It's tram, because you will go. When you say tram, actually in London, they that is what we call train. Okay, that is also the same with the train. So you get one at the station. You normally need to get a ticket first. Then you need to find the right platform. <coughs> Some go underground in the big cities. So tram is underground. Yeah. In London, this is called the tube. So it can be a tram or it can be a train. Okay, It's the same. So tram is underground while train is okay, not underground. Okay. Number four. You get one at a station for the stop. In taxi, one are uh, also call it code. You can buy a ticket and a van, or some sometimes you can pay the driver. In London, they are red. Mm, so what do we call them? Is pole. Mm? Pole or bus? Let's say bus. Okay, it can be a coach oh, okay. or it can also be a bus. So a coach and a bus is somehow similar. Okay, look at this one. This one is? Mm. This one is a coach, right? Yeah. And this one is? Bus. A bus. So a coach and a bus is also similar to each other. Okay, so that's why our answer in here it can be a coach or it can be a bus. Okay? Okay. Okay. So next, let's try to do the transcript. Now, J is Jenny, R is receptionist, T is taxi driver, TC is ticket clerk. So I will be doing Jenny and receptionist. You are going to do taxi and TC. Okay? Then after that, let's exchange. Okay. okay. Could you call me a taxi, please? Yes, of course. Where to? To Padding Station, um, Paddington Station. And when you could like it for? Now, please. How much is it? That's um, thirteen seven thirteen pound sixty. Please. please. Okay. So that's thirteen pounds and sixty. Please. Okay. That's. Thirteen pound and sixty, please. Make it fifteen pounds. And uh, could I have a receipt? Thank you uh, very much, madam. 
Could I have a ticket to Heathrow Airport, please? Single or return? Single, please. Standard or first class? Standard, please. That's 18 pounds. Can I pay by credit card? Yes, of course. Okay, so let's exchange now. <laughs> Could you call me a taxi, please? Yeah, of course. Where to? To Baddington Station. And when would you like it? Uh, for. Now. And when would you like it for? And when would you like it for? Now, please. How much is this? That's $13.60, please. Math is $15. Oh, and, uh, pound, sorry. Ah, okay. 13 pounds and 60, please. Uh, make is 15 pounds. Okay, make it, make, make it, it, make it, make it 15 pounds. Make it 15 pounds. And could I have a receipt? Thank you very, thank you very much, madam. Could I have a ticket to head grow airport, please? Single or return? Single, please. Standard or first class? Standard, please. That's 18 pounds. Can I pay by the credit card? By credit card. Credit card. Again, can I pay by credit card? Can I pay by credit card? Yes, of course. Okay, now, I want you to read all of this qua by your own, okay? I just have to listen to you, okay? Let me see. Oh. Now, you have to emphasize question, Kwa, huh? I want to hear from you. There is a rising intonation of your voice, huh? Like, could you call me a taxi, please? So, you need to pause for a while because okay. there is a comma. And then, just pause for a while, not a full stop, okay? Yeah. Like, could you call me a taxi, please? Yeah. Okay. And then, yes. Stop for yeah. a while. Yes, of course. Where to? So there is a rising intonation. Okay, go for okay. Could you call me a taxi, please? Yes, of course. Where to? To Paddington Station. And when will you like it for? Oh, there is a connected speech in here, right? right? So you were going to say, and when would you like it? And when would you like it? Like it. Like it. Okay? Yeah. When would you like it for? Okay, go. Yeah. And when would you like it for? Now, please. Okay, just for a while. Can you please say that again? And when would you like it for? And when would you like it for? That's correct. Now, please. How much is it? How much is it? How much is it? Does... Take 13 pounds and 60, please. Make it 15 pounds. And could I have a receipt? Thank you and very much. Could I have a receipt? And yeah. can I ha could I have a receipt? Okay. And could I have a receipt? Thank you very much, madam. Thank you very much, madam. Can Thank you very much, madam. Oh, you have to emphasize much, much. much. Okay. okay, again. Mm, thank you very much, madam. I want to hear much. Much. Okay, again. Thank you very much, madam. Correct. Go. Could I have a ticket to Heathrow Airport, please? Could I have a ticket? Could I have a ticket? Okay. Could I, ha could I have a ticket to Heathrow? Could I? Could I? Okay. Could, could I? I? Could I? Could I have a ticket to Heathrow Airport, please? Could I have a ticket to Heathrow Airport, please? Single or return? Single, please. Standard or first class? Standard, please. Does 18 pound. Can I pay by the credit card? Credit. Credit card. Can I pay? Can I? Can I pay by credit card? Can I pay by credit card? Yes, of course. Okay. So, can we say this one again? Could you? Could you? 
Could you call me a taxi, please? Could you call me a taxi, please? Yes, of course. Where to? Yes, of course. Where to? Course. Court. Where to? Where to? To Paddington Station. To Paddington Station. And when would you like it for? And when would you like it for? And when would you like it? Would you like it for? Yeah. And when would you like it for? Now, please. Now, please. How much is it? How much is it? How much is it? How much is it? That's correct. How much is it? How much is it? That's 13 pounds and 60, please. That's 13 pounds and 60, please. Make it 15 pounds. Make it eat, uh, make it 50 pounds. 15. 15. Could I have a receipt, please? Or could I have a receipt? Could I have a receipt? Thank you very much, madam. Thank you very much, madam. Could I have a ticket to Heathrow Airport, please? Could I have a ticket to Heathrow Airport, please? Single or return? Single or return. Single, please. Single, please. Standard or first class? Standard or first class. Standard, please. Standard, please. That's 18 pounds. That's 18 pounds. Can I pay? Can I pay by credit card? Can I pay by credit card? Yes, of course. Yes, of course. Okay, so Hua, we are about to end in here, and then on the next week we will going to do the role playing. Okay. Okay. So, do you have any questions? No more. No more. Okay, we'll see each other again. That's going to be when on monday on monday so what date is on monday mm, what is it on monday may so the date on monday is on may 22 okay oh uh, okay so we'll see each other again on may 22 2023 so don't forget this one okay okay so do you have any questions squad no no okay bye Bye. Bye.